Good morning, Martians. Well, um, it's come up a couple times about um, when you're setting up your scenario on how to uh, make a spawn guy. Well, in the editor, which is kind of convoluted if you think about it, um, and I'll go ahead and show you real quick. This is a real character that I spawned in just now, and I'm going to show you the difference between this one and the ragdolls. Um, I was speaking with... Uh, Kim Larson actually brought it up. He's making his own uh, scenario maps, so that's kind of awesome. The more, the merrier, I say. Um, but if I, uh, let's see here, hit G so I can see my HUD. There we go. You can see I can select my dude. And I can, everywhere I look, I go like this. But if I right-click real quick, it'll lock my camera and I can use my cursor. Well, over here in um, the tool palette, at the very top is where the real characters are at. You have your... Your, uh, remember my original um, uh, Wilson? Let's just drop one of him in there real quick. So that's a real character. And right now his head's flying because that's I haven't activated the scene yet. Then we have another medium suit character that we can use. And then we have a heavy suit character that we can use. And then my original Joker right there. Here, let's get rid of this guy. I'm uh, left-clicking him to highlight him. You can see he stays highlighted. And I can click this guy. If you can highlight him, left-click him, it switches to that one. So I'm going to get rid of this Joker here, and I'm just going to hit the delete key, and he's gone. Now, that immediately shuts, and you can see I right-clicked, so it moved my camera again. It immediately collapses your tool. It doesn't leave it open to where you were at. Whenever you delete something, for some reason, it closes. But right in here, is it this one, where it says humans, and it says ragdoll at the top. Now, you can grab another. Now, this is where I used to have my ragdoll Wilson. Here, there he is there. You can see the head's not floating. So there's all kinds of these ragdoll jokers in here. You got the, the light, medium, and heavy. And then you have the female colonist. Let's just drop her right over there. I don't know why her hair is so short, but there you go. Male colonist. Um, we got a, a scientist. Let's put that guy over there so he can like figure stuff out for us. And then we have an office guy for no reason at all. So there you go. <laughs> we have an office guy. Um, so those are the ragdolls over here with the heads uh, attached when you lay them. Then you have these guys with the head not attached showing you that it's one you can actually use right here. Um, you can drop, and it has your uh, suits. You can drop extra suits in there and stuff. But these are the real guys, and you can have uh, different tools. If you spawn one in with the, uh, the gas select, or uh, different tools to do um, resource uh, detection, uh, the drill, the soil, the gas, and all that, and you have different supplies for each one. I always kind of go with the top one. But I'm going to go ahead and um, uh, right-click to get my camera back, and then I'm going to hit the space bar. That activates the scene. And as you can see, all the ragdolls just fall over. Um, so they're not dying when you do that. They're just never they were just ragdolls. So it's kind of fun. So if I hit the um the F key, I should randomly whatever one I'm closest to, I think I should jump into this guy. Well, let's try this. I'll go right over next to this Joker. If I hit the F key, I should jump in him because he's closest to my camera. Yeah, see that's how that works. But now I can hit the tab to jump to this guy I'm looking at. And I can look at this guy. Jump in him, and you can uh, jump in him. So I think either, either either I'm looking at him and I jump to him, or it's just random. I'm not really sure if it's random or not. Is it working that way? No, see, I should have jumped in. Should have jumped. If I'm in this guy, looking at this guy. Oh, maybe it is. Uh, you're looking at whoever you want to jump in. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, I used to have a Wilson. Besides this guy I can use. I'm hitting the G to hide the HUD so I don't see their names and stuff. A little bit more interesting. But you can pick these guys up. Here, let me get rid of this tool real quick. Throw that on the ground. I'm not going to need it. And you can see he's highlighted blue. You can pick him up. So if you're going to make a crash site, you can use these guys. Oh, no! The ship crashed. Oh, no. The building had a leak, and these guys were found dead in a pile. No! Look at him. <laughs> I don't know. I found it funny. Let's look at this guy. He looks... What did it say? The scientist? And you can rotate them kind of similar to you, you do a block, I think. Let me try the um, home keys to see if I... There we go. Oh, God, he's coming out. Ah, run. Look at him. Get him. Okay, we drop him on the ground. Wham, face plant. So, yeah, there's a difference between the characters. Just make sure you're not using the ragdoll. And it does say it in the tool. Let me get out of here again. I'm going to hit F key. Now I'm a floater inside this head. And your scroll wheel controls the speed. I think I covered some of this in my previous... Uh, videos, but, you know, they're only really descriptive in the thumbnail. I didn't really... How you doing? I'm all right. How you? I'm all right. Um, you know, put it in the name of the video when I do... Uh, I tried to add some, um, but it's just, you know, kind of hard to keep track of. 
But as you can see, they're the same thing, but they're just ragdolls. Kind of interesting if you're going to have dead astronauts laying around. Um, because these guys won't lay on the ground unless they are dead. I mean, if I take off his helmet... And then get out of him. So he's going to croak. And now one of the other guys can come help him, evidently. But I'm not going to. I'm just going to. Yeah, he just, he's a goner right there. So yeah, that's the difference between the ragdolls. And if I jump out again, we'll look at the tool. I'm going to hit my space bar again. And, and hit my G so I can see my HUD. Now that stops everything. Even if you had a ship landing and, and you go into this mode, it'll just hang there. Smoke and everything. Um, but yeah, just remember that the top one is for the real characters that you can actually uh, play. So if you're in the editor and you want to, you know, I think I had some uh, building in first person. I, some of my earlier videos back um, in the editor um, playlist, um, it was like uh, building in the editor first person. So yeah, so if you're going to, you know, drop parts in here, like maybe a vehicle, whatever, and you want to test some things out, um, then you can just F key into your character. And I, I know... Um, um, Kim, you were having some issues with this whole getting into the damn character. You might be dropping a ragdoll. Um, that's entirely possible. That's what it kind of sounds like to me. I can't guarantee it. Um, let's drop a... Where the hell... They need, really need a search, a search bar in here, don't you think? That would be amazing. Uh, you got emergency pop tent modules. Okay, scout buggy. Ooh, there's a racer scout buggy. Let's grab that. Bam. Oh, I effed into the wrong guy. So I'm, He's still alive? Jesus. Can I help this guy? Let's tab to another guy. Let's see if we can save this guy. Steve, what are you doing? No, not you, Ragdoll. You're dead. Long, long dead. Okay, let's, let's... Theoretically, I can get into his inventory. Grab his helmet. Put it back on him. Oh, no, look. We saved him. We saved him. Didn't I save him? Well, maybe not. You know what? He might have to get into a healing bed. Just, okay, wait. Wait. He's still alive. He's living. So theoretically, he should get back up off the ground at some point, right? Whatever. There he is. Oh, God. If we could do without that little snappy thing. But look, we just saved him. We are awesome. So, yeah, you can save your buddies if they... What the hell's that zombie moving over there for? Okay, I'm in the wrong guy. He's going to be sick for a while. He needs to get to a bed to heal. Uh, I think we saw that in one of my uh, recent uh, Let's Plays. I had to actually... Get into a, um, a bed to heal. Shut up, Trump. So we're going to go for a ride. Just because. Why not? We're on Mars, dude. And this is the faster of the buggies you can only get. Um, ooh, you want to plow down the guys? Let's plow them down. Because, you know, reasons. <laughs> Look out, Wilson. Wilson. Oh, oh, they don't. Oh, my God. The car went flying instead of them. Yeah, that's crazy. But there you go. That's how the, you find the difference. Oh, I broke that stupid trunk off, and now it's screaming at me. Oh, see, that's what you call um, irony, really, if you think about it. Oh, and check this out. Any broken piece from, in, like, say you wanted to destroy a, a have a, uh, oh, maybe I didn't show you guys this. Let me show you real quick. I, I have in my past, but if you, let's see, we're going to get out of this. We're going to uh, hit the space bar. And what was it again? I'm trying to figure out the keys. Hang on a minute. Oh, do I have to be in a character for this? No, not you. Yeah, let's see here. Oh, okay. So if you hold both alt keys, you can shoot these cannonballs out and break the car. See what I'm doing there? So if you want a broken piece of equipment, be it a crash plane or a car or a crash lander, you can uh, shoot those cannonballs at them by holding both alt keys and uh, left clicking. I usually don't show people that because they might want to shoot people in the face. No, I don't think you can do that on uh, um, group. Now, if you, oh, what I was saying was you can delete this. Let me get out of this character. Every little broken part will still delete. You don't have to go pick them all up. You can just click one and now see how it selects everything. And when you hit delete, all the, the whole ship's gone. I've done that with crash uh, landers before and stuff like that. But now I just thought I would come in here and show you the difference mostly about these ragdoll guys. And um, then I threw in those extras. So whatever. I needed to fill some time. I don't like those short-ass videos. There we go. Wilson. Wilson! No! 
Anyway, you guys have a good one. I'll catch you next time. If you have any more questions, let me know, and I'll make a short little video just showing it. Oh, oh, wait, wait, wait. Somebody also asked, and I'm not sure if it was Kim on this one, um, how to make a spawn place. And I covered this before, but I'll go ahead and do it again real quick. So if I wanted to just hit my HUD back up, and let's go to the vehicle tab here and let's look for a lander or even a truck uh, would work let's go with a um, like I've started some of mine in the cargo transport so oh Jesus yeah that's dangerous bigger than I thought um, anyway you can select the vehicle and you see it brings up a new uh, pallet down here and over here and it says up on the top left here I don't know if you can see my cursor let's go right up here um, is a start unit well, it defaults to false, but if you put it on true, that's where your guy should spawn in there. But I'm not sure if you have... Okay, wait a minute. We should probably run a test. I'm not going to do it right now. But setting the vehicle should be where you spawn. I usually... And you can only have one of these. Like, say I selected the guy here. Let's deselect the truck. And I usually make the guy the spawn. Because I don't know if a dude will just appear in the truck. So I really don't ever do it to a truck i've done it to a lander but i always have the guy in it so i make the guy the spawn in and i'm not i'm not even saving this map to test it but once you um and you got to remember you have to actually go up here when you made your new one then you actually have to hit save and rename it again you got to name it um file name and descriptive name and then you can go into scenarios in the main menu uh, if you went back to the the main menu you could go in and load it and then you would definitely spawn in this joker here. Um, so that, that's a spawn guy. So remember, left-click to select them. I right-click just to get my cursor back and set that to true. Now, I've only ever done this to a character. I haven't done it specifically to this vehicle. Uh, but it looks like you can do it. So maybe you want to run a test on that to see if... Uh, but would you randomly pick a character? I don't know. I like to pick either the, the medium suit guy. So I make sure... I didn't want to, you know, spawn in in the wrong suit. I've seen that in the past. Uh, it was a while back. But, yeah, there you go. Thought I would show you a little bit about that. And hopefully it helps somebody. Because we need a lot more Martians. We need to be overpopulated with the Martians. Yep, I said it. You guys have a good one. I'll catch you next time. Later.